Yo, what's good? It's your boy Bike with another video. Today, we are going to be talking about rulers. Rulers inside of Clip Studio Paint. How do you use them? What kind of rulers do they have? What can you use them for? Let's get into it. Now, the ruler tools look like a triangle. So you click on that and you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have eight different ruler tools that you can use. And so first off, we'll start off with the linear ruler. So if you have, um, you're trying to get it, you're trying to um, set up your figure drawing or anything like that, and you want it to be kind of proportional, you know, the same length as far as like, I always get like the torso and the lower body. I want to get that kind of the, the measurements. I want to get that kind of right. Well, this ruler will help you do that. You see 0 0.00, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and it goes all the way down to 0.1 or whatever. And then you probably can change. Okay, so you can change the scale. So now is in inches. Then we can go to pixels, right? This is it measured into pixels, centimeters, me, uh, middle, uh, millimeter. It has all different types of scales that you can use. So next we have the curved ruler, right? We have the curved ruler. So we do this, aha, uh -huh, and you double click on it. So what you do is to create a curve, you wanna hit your stylus right here, and you wanna hit it again, and this part right here is gonna create the curve. So, so you want the curve, sharp curve, or not so sharp curve, you hit it, and then once you hit it, you double click, so curve, bam, bam. Then now, you do the curve like that. Then you could do multiple curves. Then what you can do is click off, and go to G pen, and it mirrors that curve. So that's a great tool for like complicated curves and stuff like that. Let's go to the figure ruler. Now the figure ruler, basically a circle, right? And then you can go into properties and then you can edit the actual figure. So you can do a rectangle, you do a octagon. Let's see, okay, that's it, that's a polygon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's a polygon, not an octagon. But then you can change the roundness of the corners. So we could do this, and now the corners are more round. So then what we can do, we can go to our G pen, back to our G pen, and then we can simply copy those shapes. Once you're done, you can click on that and delete, All right? So what I did was clicked on the layer, I clicked on the ruler tool, and then I hit the trash bucket. That's gonna come up and it's gonna delete, and now it's a regular layer with my shapes that I made. All right, so this is super, this is a super useful tool. So let's go bike. Let's go bike to the ruler tool, and let's go to the ruler pin. See what this thing is. So it looks like the ruler pin is basically like a freestyle G pin. Snap on to it. Okay, it's basically, it's a freestyle ruler it's a freestyle like guide if i want to trace over it trace over it perfectly okay okay i can see situations where you, where you would need that um now let's go to the special ruler okay the special rule looks like has three lines now let's go into property and we got parallel line parallel curve okay so basically three okay do it like that okay so basically three lines i don't know when i'm gonna use that i mean I guess that's why they call it a special ruler but then we have the guide i think this is probably the one that i was looking for because um, you know when you're drawing you want to make sure that everything is lined up perfectly right and because as y'all can see i have the ruler i have like the ruler on the outskirts of the canvas y'all see up here on the outskirts skirts of the canvas i got the rulers here to, to kind of give me some type of guide you know some type of x and y axis to you know where i'm putting down uh different um my drawings and stuff like that but this guy what this guy does it actually brings this all the way down and then this all the way down and then i want to do it like this and i want to have the drawing in between right here and what i can do is i can go up to the gpn 
go up to the GPN, bam, 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 hit that right there. Now what I can do is I can go into my pencil and then I can just, I don't like that pencil, I like this pencil. I could just start drawing. So, ooh, I want this to be right here. I could just start drawing. And I'm drawing on, uh, basically on the same layer, right? Drawing on the same layer. Now, as long as I start like right here and I don't let my uh, stylus up, it's gonna draw in between those lines. Now, if I do this, it's gonna draw, it's gonna add like a guideline. It's gonna follow those lines. And so what you could do is, what I like to do is once I draw the guideline, I just follow the guidelines, mark it out, and then go to the layer and then delete the actual ruler tool, delete the, the guidelines, yes. And then now I have the guide, I have the guide right here. And so I don't have to worry about my pencil or anything, you know, following the guide mistakenly and so we can do it just like that and so that's good for let's throw a pitch up there and let's delete the guy so let's go back to the guy so if i want this picture in between here no i want it right there and i want it right there that's where the drawing needs to go and so repeat steps do it like that throw it like that delete it bam now i'm free to draw and i know these are my two guidelines and so you also you also can use this as a way to a way to see where your features fall like okay we know the nose let's see where this falls bam so if if the top of the ear is supposed to fall where the bottom nostril is we know that we need to go up some so this is just a good way of like correcting your drawings the the corner of the eye you know sometimes the corner of the eye meets up with the corner of the nose the nostril of the nose bottom of the ear you can see you can see where the features fall at and I'm gonna be using this a lot. And then next we have the perspective ruler. And then we just go across right here. And then the next line I wanna say is gonna be the uh, vanishing line, wherever this line is. Yep, it's gonna be the vanishing line. And so from this point on, this right here, all the lines supposed to fall right here at the vanishing line. So the only lines I can make, only lines I can make are lines that correspond to that. And I can make some more um, horizontal, I mean, uh, vertical lines. I can make vertical lines like this. I also can make another horizontal line. But as long as you slash in towards the vanishing line, it's gonna help you out with uh, you know one point perspective, three point perspective, all of that stuff like that. So it's gonna help out with that. And then we have the symmetrical ruler. The symmetrical ruler, which basically splits the paper in half. Hold up, bam. And then now this back. So let's split it. Bam. We split it in half. And this is good for eyes, um, those kind of um mandolin drawings or whatever. I forget, but they're just gonna mirror everything on the opposite side. It's just gonna mirror and they it gives your drawing just, you know, just a cool effect if you can, you know, play around with it and stuff like that. So I hope you got some type of value out of this video today. If you did, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button. And as always, I'll holla at y'all next time. Believe that.